Hi everyone! Today I'm here a little bit late with my February favourites video. The first two things that I want to mention are two new subscription boxes that I subscribed to in the month of February. So the first one is Sourcebox. If you know the YouTuber called Naomi Smart, I believe she launched a business quite a while ago with this box. He, she and Marcus Butler, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But I'll try to leave the link to her channel down below so you can check her out and his channel as well if he is any related to that thing. But anyway, this is the box of um, kind of snacks which are healthy, organic, vegan, so everything healthy. I'm also filming a review on this box as well today, so I'm not sure if that will go up before my favourites video or after that. But anyway, if it's going before then... I will leave the link to it down below for you to check out if you're interested in what I got in that box and what I thought about it. But actually I was quite surprised with it because I thought that healthy things are not as tasty because I've tried some of the things before and I wasn't quite a huge fan of them because I thought they tasted a bit tasteless, plain. But this was, I actually was really, really surprised with it and then decided to continue my subscription for this box because it really surprised me and I'm quite happy with it. And one of my favourite things from there would be the Super Coconut Dark Chocolate Bar. I loved this thing. It's obviously gluten-free, organic, vegan and 45% less sugar. This was delicious. It was so, so, so good. I'm not going to show you anything else from that box because that would kind of spoil the whole thing if it's going up before my sauce box review. But anyway, this was really, really good and really, really tasty. So I loved it. Another box that I subscribed to in February was the, another beauty box. And that was Glossy Box, which is considered to be the best in the UK, I'm pretty sure. And again, I've done a review on this box as well as the other two boxes that I'm subscribed to, Birch Box and a Fantastic Box. So if you're interested in my thoughts and what products I got in all of those three boxes, I will leave the link to it down below for you to check out. But I was so, so surprised, pleasantly surprised by this box because it costs about £14 in general, £13.95 or something like that. So £10 for the box and £3 and something for the delivery, for delivery. But the products that you get, it's so much more than what you pay for it. I mean, it usually is like around a hundred pounds worth of stuff that you get from the box so i was really really surprised with it so yeah if you're interested to know what i got in this box the link will be down below but i'm going to show you some products from all of those three boxes so there might be some spoilers for what i got in those boxes but i'm going to mention them anyway so the first thing from that glossy box i believe it was is this eyeshadow palette the brand is sleek I showed it in my video and on its own it cost about nine pounds and something so already you can see that I've paid a lot less than for the stuff that I actually got but I love that it is a full-size product plus they actually send you quite a lot of full-size products compared to Birch Box or Look Fantastic Box I'm not sure I can open it now because I just painted my nails and I don't want to ruin my nails you can see all of these colors and how they are really, really nice and colourful and they stay quite for a long time, so I'm quite happy with it. I didn't expect to get a full-size product like that in a beauty box, to be honest. So that was a very nice surprise for me. Another thing, I believe it was from Glossy Box. If, I, if not, I apologise for that, but I'm pretty sure it was. It is this um, Aqua Repair Facial Serum by Skin Chemist London. I really, really really like this product the smell of it is incredible when i put it on my skin it feels so good it feels smooth and my skin feels kind of i don't know even rested or something i can't remember what exactly it's supposed to do but obviously improve your skin and things like that so i am considering to of, i'm considering to buy a full version of it but that is 64 pounds so i'm a bit hesitant about it. I don't know if I'm going to buy it or not, but I absolutely love this thing. It smells incredible and it feels incredible. Another thing, I believe I got that one from Look Fantastic Box, but this is Sugar Pear Lip Scrub. I've never used a lip scrub before and the brand is Trifle Cosmetics. It is, as you can see, a very small example, example, sample of it, 
but oh my goodness again the smell of it is incredible it feels incredible on my lips when I put it on my lips I kind of wanted to eat it straight away because it just felt so nice and so sugary and incredible and smell just is insane I mean it smells like chocolate it doesn't smell like a pear Oh, I love it. And again, I'm really, really tempted to buy the full version of it because it's that good. And after obviously rinsing it off, my lips felt so, so soft. And yeah, so this is a really good thing to try. And I believe it's organic again. Moving on to tea, my favorite items from Birchbox. The first one was this sheer butter lip balm, Pixie by Petra. I don't know if that's the brand or I don't know. But this thing, Again, the smell is incredible. I like when things smell nice. I don't like, I'm really dependent on the smell, if that makes sense. I don't like when things don't smell nice. And if a thing smells nice, I am more inclined to like it. This one smells really, really nice. Plus it gives you a kind of light pinky color, which is quite nice as well. And when you put it on your lips, your lips straight away feel very moistured and they don't dry and it's just an incredible thing and I'm quite happy because it's a full size as well and yeah that's one of my favorite things and I've been using it quite a lot now another thing from Birchbox is this coconut milk hair mask the brand is I don't know how well it can see but I'm not going to try and pronounce that but whenever I put this on my hair and then the next day after that my hair feels so smooth and so soft and there's sh it's shiny and it smells incredible so I'm definitely going to buy the full version of it because I absolutely love this thing and it is probably the best masks the best mask I've used even though I'm lazy with masks especially hair masks but this is a really really good one so I'm going to buy the full one full version plus i really like the coconut smell another just random thing it's not from my beauty boxes but i decided to uh, that i'll mention it anyway i bought it in tk max and that is this bronzer or powder brush i've been using it as a bronzer brush and it is so incredibly soft and so comfortable and just perfect for using as a bronzer the brand is i don't know elite elite models i don't know i hope you can see well but it is incredibly soft and I really, really, really love it. It's one of my favorite brushes now at the moment. I love perfumes, like I said before. I like when things smell nice and I like when I smell nice. So I decided to try some Lush perfumes. I've never had them before, but decided to try. I ordered three smallish ones this size. I only liked one of them, the other two I'm not a huge fan of and I don't know what to do with them now because I don't want to use them, I don't like the smell of them. But one that I really liked is, I don't know, Furs, I don't know what you would call it. It is, it smells like vanilla and something else. I mean it's not my favourite smell, but the thing that I like about it is that it lasts for such a long time. I remember putting it in one evening and then the next day, no, a week after or something like that, I put the same clothes as I was wearing on that day and it still smelled very strongly of that. So it definitely lasts for a long time and it is quite a nice smell. And I realized that Lush perfumes are, they are with essential oils. So they last for a long time. They are quite expensive in one way. So if this bottle, it was I think 25 or 39 pounds, one of them, depending on the smell. But I'm going to give a go to a different perfume and Lush as well, just to try it out and see if I like that one more. So yeah, hopefully I'll be more lucky next time. But this is one of the good smells that I really liked. Moving on to more random things. I went into the works, which is just a shop of books, um, stationery and things. And I found these adorable sticky notes with cats. I absolutely love cats and I've used them for um, different things. If I'm reading a book and if I'm going to make a review on it or it's just any quote that I like or something, I'll put a sticky note in there or in like recipe books and stuff like that. I use those. I haven't used these yet because I just, I can't. They're so adorable. I love these ones so much. And there were two more kinds and I decided to buy them as well. So these are with owls, nice cute little owls. And these ones with, um, I think penguins and 
other kind of sea animals. I really hope you can see them well, but the cat one is definitely my favorite. I love them, they're so adorable. I can't even open them because they're so adorable. And as you can see, they were really, really cheap, 79p. Another random thing from TK Maxx is a tea towel, a cat tea towel. I really hope you can see them well, but again, they are so adorable and cute and just lovely. And whenever I look at this tea towel, I feel happy because they're just that adorable. Absolutely love this tea towel. And it is also quite soft. And the last thing that I wanted to mention is a pub or a restaurant. I think it's a restaurant or a pub. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it is called The Hourglass. And it is in a small town called Devizes. What I liked about it is this, this cozy atmosphere in the pub or restaurant. And it, it looks really, really cozy and nice plus the view to the canal. It was absolutely lovely. We went there for the Valentine's Day and it was a very, very nice place. So I'm trying to discover different pubs or restaurants in the UK that I really, really like. And so far there are two places. One of them is the Lavender Lodge in Laycock. Absolutely love that place. It is so beautiful. Although both times I went there was in the Christmas season so it's obviously very very nice there I don't know how it looks in any other season or any other day I would like to know actually so maybe one day me and my husband will go there again because I absolutely love that and the hourglass is my number two favorite place at the moment so that is everything that I enjoyed throughout the month of February let me know what we, some of your favorite things that you liked in the month of February what happened to you in that month or which places you went to I would absolutely love to know that I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching bye